Well, a lot of people ask about, you know, how did you get started in agriculture? And, and it's a really cool story. I can remember as a young kid growing up in a tractor tire sandbox, just watching agriculture go by. We had 10 acres in uh, southern New Mexico, right outside of Las Cruces. And I just remember wanting to be a farmer. Well, good morning there, world. We are starting on a revolutionary new idea. Actually, there's about 15 billion people that are already doing YouTube series. But today, with my incredible mustache, we embark on... Why are you laughing, Sabrina? Hey, world, this is Sabrina, safety coordinator of uh, Del Valley Ranch Management uh, and also Chaffe. Oh, it's going to be pretty awesome. I've been threatening for a long time that we were going to do a, uh, a YouTube video. I just was kind of not prepared to do it with a mustache. So we are a little uh, late in the season as far as starting a YouTube channel. We are in the middle of our sixth cut of alfalfa, which we get normally six, maybe a clip on seven. Uh, looks like this year we will get a seventh cut. So there's gonna be the opportunity to show you guys <clears throat> all of that. Normal day on the farm. What all do we do? What all do we grow? So it's going to be fun just to kind of tune you guys in on the different things that we do and how we do them. What do you think there, Chato? What is That's the smallest, world's smallest camera. We're making some customization to the uh, Ganchitos here. I'm trying to get some chains on her. You can't eat it, Pablo. Puro trabajando. Puro trabajando. Very nice. Customized chain hanger. Using an air compressor to push the string. Will this work? We don't know. <laughs> Custom well pipe con cadena in Spanish. ¿Cómo se dice cadena en inglés? Chains. Chains, yeah. You know, Everybody thinks when you're a large size farm that you have all brand new equipment. Well, sometimes we just get crafty with auction finds. Will it work? We don't know. This ground we're gonna be planting onions in and we don't wanna work the ground too much, but we don't wanna leave ridges from all of the uh, s -tines. We've got an s -tine that's bent there, we're gonna have to change. How much do I need to go over? Um, come over about a foot. That is beautiful, Chato. I do spend about 90% of my time in this pickup and uh, just checking different crops. Uh, right now we've got a bunch of baby hay coming up and so it's extremely important that we stay on top of that baby hay and uh, then we're getting ready to start planting wheat so the guys are going to be tearing the wheat planters or the drills apart today uh, getting our bands off of the drills and getting ready to go for uh, wheat planting well at the field ready to rock and roll we plant these uh what we call bunny barriers we run a 15 foot drill right down the sides of the farm uh, just because we have so much wildlife that we want to make sure uh, we try to keep them out of either this carrot field or soon to be onion field over here. 
So we plant bunny barriers. Also, when the wind gets blowing really bad, we want to make sure we have some protection. So we actually plant a, uh, a line of wheat between them as well. Here comes Chato. Rolling in in the uh, 6155M John Deere. He's got that monosim planter on and uh, it's go time. They call me the Deadpool of agriculture. Going through some uh, skin cancer treatment at the moment, so I'm getting to uh, wear cool masks, I guess, when the sun comes out. We're good. Woo. Two miles an hour. Definitely not like planting corn. That's pretty nice. We form in two states, three counties. We form in New Mexico and we form in Texas. Just finishing up an irrigation on some, some bulb to seed onions. Uh, these seeds will be sold to farmers all over the country uh, via a company that we grow for. So I'm looking forward to showing you what we do every day in and out of the farms. So we're gonna give you some snapshots uh, once a week of what's going on in our crazy world, what we do on our crazy farms. We pride ourselves in what we do. I know it's hard for you to kind of get used to the mustache. Sometimes I must ask you questions.